What is up guys, Killer Kevin, and today back with another episode of Skyrim Mods, and today we're going to be looking at something pretty weird, I didn't know what it actually was until I actually looked into it and found out what it was. We are doing the Fountain Guard Armor, which does look freaking amazing, there's a couple of different variations throughout this mod, also as well if you want this mod it is down in the description below, make sure you click that link straight from the website to get this mod, also I have linked as well the Nexus Mod Manager as well, so if you want to go and get that mod in correspondent, you're going to need both together. So yeah, I'm out here next to Dragon's Reach, which is pretty much 90%, sorry about the mouse, 90% of the time which we are here, and we're actually next to a Skyforge. Now, I'm not too sure you actually need a Skyforge on this, but we're going to play it safe and use the Skyforge. So yeah, we're going to go right into it, and uh, yeah, if I can get it, there we go. So we're going to obviously go down into Steel, which is 9 times out of 10 as well, and again, another mod which has that awesome paper-looking background that obviously gives the sort of blueprint of the actual mod itself. I love how they do this, it's awesome. This is heavy armor as well guys, please do make bear that in mind. As well as you can tell by the requirements, underneath the name, the armor, the weight and the value, you are going to need a lot of requirements for this. And when you do make this, make sure you head over to the Skyrim Wiki, write all the ID numbers down which I have currently on a notepad So uh, to do this mod, so make sure you do that as well. But uh, it's all worth it in the end, so uh, yeah, if obviously if you do like it, make sure you're going to need all the requirements as well. So let's crack on and start making this. We've got the boots, the armor itself, we've got a cape, we've got the gloves, and then the thing that I like the most is actually two different variations of helmet. We actually have the full helm here, which obviously requires the hawk feathers and everything else like that, which is kind of awkward to get, but we have those as well, which does look freaking amazing. And then you've got the casual sort of uh, mask like that, which is just a standard black. Now, obviously the two different variations, which we'll talk about, which is to the helmet, but it does actually set it off quite a bit. So let's equip the armor, the boots, the cape, and the gloves. We're obviously going to take away our hood just for the time being. And we're actually going to have a look at the armor just in general. So we're going to pod over here, get some light on ourselves, like so. And as you can tell here, it does look pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't, there's not that much detailing on it, but I don't think there needs to be that much detailing on it as well. For me, the detailing will come along with the helmet, uh, the pork feather helmet, and not so much of the mask, but obviously the mask corresponding with my ugly mug will look pretty damn cool. So let's start on the mask as well. And again, a little bit disappointed, I might just have a fat nose on this character but my nose is actually peering through the mask but very valiant effort through this is quite nice I love how it tucks into the armor as well uh, there's not too much of an overhang or sprout out from that sort of a guard on the neck piece there so that's kind of nice hopefully my big fat nose doesn't hang out of this one as well which it doesn't and it does look really really nice very impressed by the helmet here it does look very damn cool so yeah obviously if you want a fountain guard armor guys make sure to go in the description but yeah I mean it's not too bad I I do like it, I like the simplicity through it, but also like the little touches as well, if you look at the detailing on the feathers, it does look very nice as well, there's a small amount of detail on the shoulders, and obviously corresponding to the shoulder detail is on the, the main chest there, very nice sort of, uh, sort of pattern work there on the sort of, sort of bottom half of the uh, sort of wardress, I'm going to call it a wardress, the wardress there, cape, flows nicely as well a lot of capes as well on particular mods are very static throughout this which is kind of annoying glove detail it's pretty sad and not gonna lie uh, so yeah it's, it's pretty damn cool I'm not gonna lie it does look quite terrifying if these are sort of storming around what I would like to see is obviously the rechange or reskinned guards in pretty much all of this armor that would look terrifying but also at the same time pretty freaking awesome so guys if you did enjoy this mod make sure to hit me up with that like and that comment but until the next one guys kill a cavity and kill a get out